Hi, I'm Ben. I'm uh, one of the brewers at Northern Monk, and I'm just going to talk about the uh, next stage of the brewing process of fake. I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about the progression of faith and where is that now and what goes into it. Safety first. So yeah, Faith we first brewed in, um, I think it was early 2015. We wanted to find some sort of more fruity character in our IPAs and pale ales. And obviously by 2015, um, Citro was very much a thing, very much in demand, uh, perhaps not yielding as high and uh, as, as planted in such higher acreage as it is these days. But um, yeah, we, we, we gave in and Faith was our first single hot beer when we first brewed it, 100% Citra. So after we've got all that um, lovely sugary work from the mash done, we're going to send it over to our kettle where we uh, boil the wort. We boil to uh, drop the pH of the beer. We do it to get rid of some of the uh, off flavours that you can get in the packaged beers. Faith returned when we moved over here, primarily because I, the the market moved on by this point. The same same week that we commissioned this brew house was the first hop city. Gone was any West Coast vibes, any Munich malt, um, and in was wheat, oats, knickered and flaked. But it's still predominantly a citrus beer. But Faith now has some egg in there, uh, and just a little bit of Columbus. The uh, hops that we put in the kettle are uh, citra, which um, gives really nice, uh, like fruity, tropical flavours, some citrus as well. And we also use a little bit of Columbus, that just gives us a little bit more bitterness and a little bit of more earthy flavour to the beer. So uh, that gives faith its, its real base. And then uh, when we transfer to the fermentation vessel, we'll add more hot fellas later, which will give faith its really punchy, faith-esque flavour that it's known for. Faith and beers like Turtle and you are now the goal is that they taste the same every time. We brew Faith, we brew about 368 beers of Faith a week now, and we, we you know, just try and to have that kind of volume of beer going out the door, yeah, and, and hopefully it tastes the same as consistent as possible every single day. It does take a lot of work behind the scenes. Once we boil board and uh, let the hops settle into that cone, uh, then we throw the beer out of the kettle through this pipe, and it goes through our heat exchanger. Um, which basically the hot work passes one way and cold water passes the other and that cools the work down um, so that it's at a perfect temperature for fermentation. And then it goes along this blue hose here all the way to our fer fermentation vessel where it's ready for the next stage of the process which is fermentation.